So there's the ACF Brill bus. I think this is our first hearse collection we've ever. C60. Oh, that's the, what do they call them, low cab forward? C30. They're not the same doors, or technically the same cabs because they're cut out here. Oh, yeah. I mean, you can use them, but... Moving on. Moving on. I thought that car driving in, that actually is a pretty cool car. Yeah. Shackled up. White bag. If we hadn't already jumped on a Ford, yeah. No, I wanted Ford. Yeah, I know. It would have looked so cool with a trailer full of 60 impalas. We could. The trucks are easier to find than the trailers is the problem. <laughs> Later model. This is that 350. This is a 67. I don't know what Yeah. 67 has no marker lights and it has a small back window. Yep. Now, Ken Lug, 17 and a half. Are they anything? Because I got a bunch. Uh, I bought a bunch thinking they were. <laughs> but I didn't. Oh. Uh, you've stumped me. I don't know what's a 10 Lug truck of the era that with the 17.5 but they might let us know in the comments All right. 74 coupe de ville no no cadillacs, no cadillacs. <laughs> so, yeah these ones you always got to look on the frame where that control arm mounts because they'll rot and drop off It's neat. The outer body's not horrible. You'd have to find a corrector or bumper for it. All that's different <laughs> on the back door because it's a single door with two hinges. Your station wagon had the upper and lower oh. gates. Huh. Yeah. What year is it, Tim? 39. Is this still a vestigial tail structural wood? Mm, no. no. I don't think no, so. Metal. Yeah, it's all steel. Oh, there's the drill too. Boom. Just. It seems suspicious with the door being dropped off. Yeah. Usually that's a <laughs> clue of a... Hey, this, is a... this was a swinging door. Well, of course uh, of course they call these... What do they call these? A side loader? Some of them they have like a swiveling casket table. Yeah. Cute little tail lights on there. And... Superior. These have that cool little Indian head logo on the bumper, too. C30 custom cab with the small back window. This one's already above a thousand big. Uh huh. I'm surprised that run was out too much. 
one ton flatbed I'd rather have your Ford yeah, buddy. <laughs> Sixty-seven as well. This is a seventy-two. For the data tag guys. Bucket seat car with the horseshoe shifter. Kawasaki 750 for Brett. Yeah, oh, check out that license plate. <laughs> oh, 60s GM probably. Oh, cool. Too bad it's mauled. I have that one. It's a assembly line Ford Oval 16 inch tire from a third Heath car. Really? Yeah. Chevy Cube van. Pontoon boat and a boiler and a. What little coupe is this? It's an old German coupe, yeah. air cooled. Still got a pan on it. Usually you see a body like that and it means they robbed the chassis for a buggy project. It looks like he robbed the top to make it a dumpster. They only go one way. All roads lead to the junkyard. Corolla. That's got 1999 vibes with the seat cover and the plastic cup caps. That's the stuff we grew up riding around in. Look at this uh, uh, rat hotel. Rat hotel. <laughs> Hacked and whacked. Uh, early style, yeah. Yep. There's some 90s uh, mm -hmm. wheels that you love so much. Oh, yeah. Vomit reacts only. Leave that open. Power stroke, well, no wonder they. Man. What's the odometer? That five radios in there. Uh, electronic. Oh, pop the hood. Oh, there's your uh, uh, orchard tractor. Okay. Oh, come on. Oh. Here, let me get it. It <laughs> requires. They, they don't pull out very easily. Yeah. Oh. Here, you pump the... Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, sir. <laughs> that latch must be seized. <laughs> yeah, well, it, there's, no, there's no pivot or anything. It's just straight it's just pull straight. and you get your tips of your fingers on it. Remember we learned about co-op tractors? Oh, yeah. Just assembled out of yeah. sheet metal. And old road signs. Was that the starter hole? I, think, uh, I don't know what that is. It's gotta be, gotta be the starter hole, right? Oh, they just. Well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's in the way of the mag. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little cut for the where the drive would have gone. Transmission. I was just getting in your way. Welded up. Albie will know. Yeah. 
I'll be as encyclopedic of tractors as we are of It doesn't have the power stroke badges on it. But halfway through 94, they went to the true power stroke. C60, another low cab forward. They all do that. These A pillars are open on the bottom, and the mice crawl up and nest in it. Rat hotels them. Don't bother Mickey, he might be sleeping. <laughs> Wake him up, he'll be mad at you. So you know what the, yeah, and this orchard is off too. All the good ones. Yeah, all the good ones. Ah, I didn't see that stupid baker was hacked up. Oh my. Oh, yeah, I didn't. Off. Yeah, I didn't really pick that up from the photos. You know, they, just... they were doing. Everybody knows about this one. No, I like iron. I know. I didn't know you like internet. He sure liked these. What's that? He sure liked these 60 to 66 trucks. Oh, this is the cool little one. Ooh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Super duper. That's got that's an unusual. I would imagine. Warren hub. And the cord? Yeah. What a rare truck. Probably some well-funded company that needed crane to get. Yeah, I think this one's already up pretty high. That explains why. Decently new battery. Yeah. Oh, there's the ACF Brill Bus. When I bought out those shock absorbers and some of those truck catalogs, they would list. Oh, you see the. This is just cool. Some of these were owned by like old country bands that would go on tour. Smith one that they, that, that oh, that was a international metro van. Uh, probably Cadillac. They could be for a hearse and have a upper door frame that bolts in them. Hop up here and. Looks like a lot of household items. 
here's the dash of the bus a little bit. Kind of hard to see off the reflections, but... I didn't see that T-Bird listed. Yeah, that's a modern sign cut with the plasma. Yeah. The heritage of the settlement of central Kansas. That's a long one, isn't it, for regular truck? Yeah. It's not a short one for a... Snub nose. This is what I'm looking for, though. This is what mine is. Oh, yeah. Do you need to take a picture of that barcode? No, I haven't. Yeah. Seen. I was just checking to see. From the pictures, it only looks like there's one. Oh. But I bet I could buy all four of these doors for what? Uh, for what one mirror would well, cost? Well, I need a mirror. Oh, uh huh. I don't need that right there. <laughs> it's got a sticker on it. You can leave a bed, man. Motorcycle and sidecar. Yeah, these weren't listed. Little inline before. Yeah. Here's the tractor. That's actually beefier than he was saying. Oh, that Massey I don't think was listed either. Is this? I think this might be one of the first one. Hey. What do you know? Hey guys. Oh, what's up? <laughs> oh man. I thought this was bed pretty high already for being obviously pretty broken. <laughs> I mean, you can totally rebuild them, but... Yeah, it's, you still got to do it. Uh, yeah, there's. Oh, there's Yeah. Oh, well, this is bent, but that's a rare option. That's that six lug, yeah, for Chevy four wheel drive. And I need a another one to make a set. He sends you lots of pictures. Only one I send pictures to. What are we looking at here? Cracker box. Basically all aluminum. Would this one have to be flat toed? That's what I'm asking. Uh, and it has a, a has a You'd have to put it on a semi if you were going to take it. Oh, yeah, I see what he was saying about it being a rollback. Yeah, it's, it's a true rollback. I don't think it rolls, but it tilts. Yeah. One this long, that's all you'd need. <laughs> And a winch to pull it up at a 45 degree incline. Well, it's got a hydraulic winch too, so it's. 
Yeah. <laughs> if they think this is coming out in six hours on the first day, they've, yeah. a, they've got another thing coming. I mean, this all this stuff has to go. Yeah. And then not to mention if yeah. these are if these are bought separately. Sixty-five or six. I always have to look those up to see which grill is which. This is kind of cool, an old limo. I'm sure it's ferried important people around here and there. Yeah, is this for like rear air or something? Yeah. That's the way those old systems worked, and until yeah. they realized well, there was better. Push it from way up there all the way to the back. Yeah. It's got the little jump seats in it, too. Yep. That's yeah, cool. You have to cruise around town in that. It's been parked a while, still got the bias ply. Flower car. Just kind of rough, man. Both of those have been axed. I may not post this until way after. <laughs> this stuff sits here. That Caprice is rare. Yeah. A Leonard. Uh, we may have to reshoot a second refrigeration special. <laughs> Only the truest devoted fans watched the original refrigeration special. Look at this, Joe. Got the uh, Max Corrosion. Some kid's science project in the eighth grade. <laughs> What, and they on there? Oh, I don't know. It almost looks like something sat here. Yeah. And then water leaked off the edge. Got the Hiawatha. All the head badges have been peeled off. A few Schwens in there. Nasty old wheels. Only three of them. <laughs> it had two tires underneath there. <laughs> From the back, sixty six five. I know there's a difference in the five and six grills, but I always have to look them up. That one's pretty neat. I think that's a superior, isn't it, with that? Yeah. I think this is our first hearse collection we've ever... Did you see that? Yeah, I saw it. It's really... Unique. Oh yeah, this is that Power Glide 50. <laughs> One of them was. Oh, the 52. Uh, I think that was the first year available. 49 they didn't.
back doors never. Mine don't open either. Yeah. <laughs> I still have a, shall we say, morbid curiosity of what the inside of a suburban hearse looks like. Man, rubber floors. It's really. <laughs> you get excited about rubber floors. Well. This belongs over here. Say I. I die and you take me out in this base model. You'd be happy, happy. Mm -hmm. Everybody I else. Push it over a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. It's not a crematorium. It's a hearse. It, has this thing been on fire? Looks like the heat. It does look like the heat kind of got well, on last. It didn't. Well, no. Just heavily corroded. Oh, grass fire. It was burned from the outside. Oh. And it escaped out the back. Would the car rear still be good? Maybe. Should be. Seven M and M, sixty nine or seventy flower car. Oh, probably yeah. He was restoring it. The Cadillac Pontiac. Seventy three, sixty five or six, and there's that Coupe de Ville. Killer collection. Early sixties Cadillac rims. Uh huh. I was looking those up the other day. Those played with money. I have a stack of them at the farm. We should start listing. Yeah, we'll start listing them. It's taking one quick walk through again. Stuff is being actively bid on, so kind of want to look them over and just see what condition is on each of them. Hope everybody understands this video will not be posted until this stuff is cleared. It's just a very touchy situation out here and has been that way for a while and this is midway to clearing it up but it's not definitely there yet 77 to 9 cadillac pretty good car but you can see the rockers are kind of gone quarters i guess behind the tire this one decent car quarters are gone behind the tires Clear coat's all baked off. Chevy's decent, but that vinyl top needs work. May or may not be savable. This Cadillac's decent, but it's just got a lot of bubbling and popping in the bodywork. That's kind of the thing on these old hearses. 60. Eight there. Nicest car on the whole place. I mean, it's just almost impeccable. That's number one car. There's an old Lincoln Town car hearse going away. Okay. This one's decent, but to me, the flat black kills it. I would need a full paint job, and that's probably 10 grand for a car like that. This old's 98, 73, kind of a rare car, Cotner Bevington, 
fresh damage on a lot of these. That fender was brutalized getting it out. You could tell they didn't care. <laughs> they got a tractor hook to do it. These little pieces on the back there are you those, can are they stock what are those stock? yeah i think they're stock 98 these were not a station wagon based car these are actually a sedan based car so that's a sedan rear bumper and taillights there's a company called replica plastics of dothan alabama where you can buy them yeah, they make them out of fiberglass. Textured top is a lot more long lived than your vinyl for sure. 53 Pontiac's cool, but it's like, what would I really do with it, you know? Yeah, we have a lot of stuff that you could say the same thing about. I could say that about all of it. <laughs> What's 50 what? Two? Three. Three? Yeah. Spotlight mirror. I should have a spotlight on your That's a cool car. I mean, you wish that thing could tell stories. Probably say that about all of them. This is pretty decent old 67. But it's got a quarter panel on the way out. And this flocked interior is just not weathered. Come meet me at Very the, well. Come meet me at the car when you're Okay, we will do. That white fades out to yellow brown and the flocking comes off, so it just really needs a <laughs> reupholster if it's gonna be taken all the way unless the guy just wants a driver K State Mobile 66 Bonneville this Cadillac's decent think it's savable but they brutalized the hood just a lot of unnecessary damage Nick was a good dude he was passionate about these cars he loved them loved the history of them fastidiously maintained them and I don't know man there's just a lot of people that are pretty sick over this whole deal seeing them like this but it's on the way to closure of the deal. This Coupe de Ville, I think, was bid over a thousand already, which is decent, but that car's been off the road a while. Really neat tractor collection, too. Olivers and cases and Farmalls and co-ops and Masseys. Front's blowing through and it's going to be 17 tonight and we still got a bit on them so don't really want to rush this video. I debated even shooting it but I feel like this is just such a unique collection what's here that just like to kind of document it before it's all sold away this thing's really cool really stupid at the same time if you can say that about a vehicle I looked underneath of it and it's just all done wrong they say the guy drove it around but it doesn't look very safe to me so novelty really at best c30 dually those trucks are starting to become 
real popular now. Brand on that camper is a frolic.
So this was an online auction and the circumstances leading up to it were pretty unfortunate. Just a lot of layers of things that shouldn't have been the way they were, but we did the best we could, a uh, bit on the ambulance for Joe and the old 74 Cadillac for me. And I did bid on the contents of Mixed Desk. And so most of it was just notes and paper that when a person passes on is pretty insignificant at that point. But I did find a few things that show a little bit of the passion that he had for these old funeral coaches. So there's a few patches here from different hearse clubs and also different law enforcement agencies. There's a couple of these little tag toppers, vintage cat when it bounces the eyes kind of rattle. So that's a pretty neat vintage piece. This would have probably gone somewhere on one of those old hearses. It's painted wood. Uh, Sayers and Scovel keychain, little miniature hearse gurney. Probably would have had some kind of model that went on top of there. Cadillac owner's manual, Ford Courier advertisement. Courier was, of course, a sedan delivery. Then this piece... Probably my favorite. It's got the old agrarian scene, and that's for just being cheap, pressed pulp paper. It really has just a neat look overall to it. And this would have had on the bottom a calendar stapled to it. And most of these that you find, they're torn off because after a year's time, the intention was you'd toss the calendar and then this piece would just go up on the wall as a decor item. Got the Baker rain gauge. That business is still in service. They, I believe, have moved to Newton and I believe it's just a furniture store now. Got the hot pad, motorcycle license plate. And these were from a funeral home. Just interesting little cards that they would give out to the people that had a loved one service at their funeral home. This was a really neat piece. These are the different embalming fluids that were available. And a little advertising card for them. And... Probably for Mick in general, uh, the most significant piece off the desk was this red book. This is just what it says, a directory of morticians. And so inside of here, there's just all kinds of ads for them all across the United States. And I'm fairly sure that the reason that he had this, uh, judging by some of the other notes that were on the desk, is that he would call around to these places and he would just put his name out there to them as a professional car collector. And he'd say, hey, I'm into 60s Cadillacs, if you guys have any that are coming out of service, keep my name in mind, and I'm sure he probably would get a hold of them, and there may have been some that weren't ready yet to come out of service, and he'd say, hey, keep my number, let me know when that thing's retired, and several years later, he'd probably get calls to buy those cars, and just a low production vehicle, each one of these hearses, they made a handful a year, 
because it was a significant capital investment. And when these funeral homes would buy one, they were limited use vehicles. They saw low mileage and usually pretty short runs just around the local towns and always stored inside pampered because they have a professional image to uphold. And so a lot of these hearses are preserved in very good, pristine, original condition. And then in some cases you see how some of the ones out in the collection were for whatever reason they get sold out of service to someone that doesn't take as good a care of them and they kind of run down and so Mick was just passionate about restoring those cars and the whole scene knowing how he was and then seeing the way those cars were after his death uh, just really kind of sick to walk through the place and see how some of them were and what had happened to them but of any collector car I mean I know we go to all these estates and see things being sold and people are gone and probably of any collector car the hearse uh, more than any shows that none of the stuff we take with us and it is important to keep things in good condition and show pride of ownership but at the same time we have no control over what happens to them when we're gone and so it's important to seed into our character and our legacy because that more than anything of the items that we own really is what outlives us and mixed reputation and his legacy uh, will be something that will live on in people's minds as well as his old funeral coaches that were sold on to new homes and it was kind of neat to see when people were loading some of those cars out because you did see people that had driven from a long way that were passionate about those individual cars and kept them up in their collections. And so a lot of them, I think, really will be in good hands after they were dispersed at the auction.